in progress. As that weather delay was so long, we are here on Saturday morning. Ligonor and Curly back in business. Curly scored a touchdown before halftime. We cut the lead to 20. 27 to 20. He's on the seven. Lead to start off had a long pass here in the third quarter. Gained several yards to get the Lancers back in position. Running game up the middle. It's going to be third and about two to come up. Here for the defending 3A champions here. Rain delay last night when we came at you. The magic of broadcasting from night to day. The game was postponed like most games in the area due to the severe weather last night. We hope everybody is okay for that. This run is up the middle. That's a first down and more. And it's right at the 25. on the running back number 21. Slide cuts over in the middle, still got room. He's still on his feet, first and goal near the five yard line for Ben Musselman, the junior, here for the Lancer. Weather today should be much better than last night. This game will be soon 10.30 this morning. We're picking it up now here in the third. Another run, another touchdown for the Lancers. Jackson Albush, the fullback, the senior with the score. The Lancers is up 33-7. Definitely a huge crowd last night for the contest. So the extra point to come here. Kick is up, kick is good. It is 33 to seven at this point now. So both teams with that three minutes left scored before the half. I'm able to bring it to you. Traffic issue goes over here now. This one today and then Delaney and Mervo later on today. You'll see that game later on tonight into tomorrow and Monday here on the Dice Lane Network. Win. Still a mini issue here at Friars Field. But no rain, no thunder. That's the big key. Where it came down last night, I tell you. It was down for a while. Game was called about 9 o'clock for this morning. A lot of games. People was called or postponed. Calvin Hall and Pilates will play Monday on Labor Day. And, uh, about 10 in the morning. Kick off there. Oh, ball's down on the ground. They able to get it back. Had a lane and got it back up to the 30. Number 30. Curling trying to go back on. Going off there. Right now, the Lancers is rolling in this game. Remember what happened a year ago down Frederick County? Low snap and gobbled up at the line. And they was led. Well, that defense up front, it's going to be second and long coming up here for the Friars. Give them to set it up for you, the Friars are in the black uniform. The Lancers are in the white uniforms here today. And originally this game was at 4 p.m. yesterday and it was moved to 7. Like a week before. Of course, the weather has moved it here to Saturday. And we have, I believe, a timeout. That we did. 
promotion land. So you have the flex song in your sports how you want it when you need it every Monday. Except this Monday, of course, but we will have on the Facebook page of the Flex Zone in between the zone of our episode of that as well. Subscribe to the YouTube page on the Flex Zone. 200 by the 200 episode hashtag. Trying to get there, inching closer and closer. A couple weeks. Zone 200 of the Flex Zone. Coming at you. So every Monday night, though, with our holiday. WBGL Sports Network, 10 p.m. as well as the Flex Zone Facebook page. Come back to you, the game action. Nine ten left in the third. Run fakes. All right now, throws it in a catch by Locklear. First down and more, right at midfield, inside of Lignor Territory. Call to Locklear, and the referees are calling something here. Let's see what we got. No, big spy. He's running away from big. See what they the First down would be definitely there for the Friars. Because he was trying to go to the receiver on the same time. He couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop it. You better call that on every play then, ref. So it was a penalty against Curly. I'm just going to move that big play back. So it will still be first and ten, but it's going to be now, instead of the Ligonor 40, it's going to be at the Curly 40. A little snap. Now again, we got time. Now he's got to run. And down he goes. That sack. And second and long coming up here for the Friars. Let's go! So second down and long here. And Friars 34 7 for Ligonor, the defending 3 8 champions. Remember from Mount Toluska. Down in Southern Maryland. That game as many last night. Most games are starting back up here in the morning. And then the ones that are scheduled for Saturday will be at their normal time. So pitch to the outside. A little bit of room. Game back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and long now for our special curl. Long the ball is. Generators out last night for lights. Did not get a chance to use them. Said the weather. Really, when the game started, the weather just deteriorated from there and it did not really come back until long after the game was canceled. 739 left here in the third. No, throws! Lockleg caught it, he did, but it's going to be about four yards short of the first down marker here. It's fourth down. Let's see what Curly has. At this point, you've probably got to go. Close, caught, first down by Claire. And the drive continues for the Friars. <laughs> the 
and running the first down marker at the 49 of Ligano. The more explosive offense here in this game, and they get the punch going, they get it going quick. And now the Friars on offense trying to get it going. Balls under transit, and I believe Liganor gets it off the turnover, and they do. Here's turnover. So Ligonor gets it back in Friar territory. Off the baddest change. Leach, he's going for it. Tripped up. And incomplete. Good defensive play. Had three guys in the area for, for Archbishop Curley to stop that pass. Six eleven here left in the third. Little snap again. The keeper by Leach. We've seen him run today. Well, last night technically. <laughs> And that's a gain of a couple. It's going to be third down in about six. So it's going to be third and about. Go deep! About five there, they mark it. The run. Plows his way, and I believe the first down is there for the Lancers. And the chains will be moving. First down to Niganor. Lancers and Frederick County play. Got to play teams such as Westminster and Banner. Oakdale as well. They have some good teams out there. Westminster's ranked in most of the polls here in the area as well. That's a quarterback keeper. Leach on the edge. He's got room. He's got a first down. Nice play to the outside. And with 5-0-1 left here in the third. Lancers trying to roll, get this first win of the season for them and move on into Frederick County play. No, I'm not You were here last night. Hey, for the Lancers, they've had two days in the Baltimore, right? Let's just say. But first and 10 at the Friars 23 yard line. That's a fake. Leach throws, middle of the field, that's a touchdown! Another one! Willigonor, next 40 to 7. Lee has been involved in every touchdown but one. One running one last night. Two point conversion is good. We thought they was going for extra point. Lee stayed in the game. They went for two, and it's 42 to seven. Officer Curly, faithful. Right. They want to see. It. Not about that. Looking on just a treat to see here in person. This Patrick County team is definitely one that's going to be reckoned with in the 3A coming up this season. This one here, Mervo Delaney Lair today as we're taping. 
at Homewood Fail at John Atkins. Check that one out, 5 p.m. today. Please do, that should be a treat. I don't believe that there's so many tickets at the door. I'm not sure, man. I have to go online now. The team's uh, websites, Nervo or Delaney. I'm not sure how that one's going. So linking over for four minutes left, we're gonna have a running clock, of course. <laughs> it's up the score. Let's be on. It's right at that 35 mark. That's why I let it over for two. I know some they're piling on. No, it just gives the clock running. That's a kickoff. That one's gonna bounce out of bounds. That is a legal procedure, of course, so Curly will get the ball in good field position here. Try to get a score out of it. <laughs> Curly schedule later on this season, including Severin and St. John's Catholic Prep. Both of them teams met yesterday. St. John's Catholic Prep took care of business and Severin for the Storms came in. St. Francis and uh, St. Joseph's was delayed several times down at University of Maryland last night. St. Francis had a 13-7 lead for the game, was called. Oh, what a hit! Right up the middle! Number 43, Jackson at Bush. He scored a touchdown early on offense, and now on defense, he comes in and meets him one-on-one. -on -one. Not sure that game is going to probably will not be made up, but we're not sure who will get credit. That game did get into the third quarter, so it's a 13-7 game. St. Francis had the lead. They struggled early, but they was able to come back and uh, score 13 unanswered in that one. 2-13 left here in the third. Out the shotgun. Bombs away. Man open. Luckily, have got it right on the sideline. And it's in Ligonor territory at the 33 yard line. That's it, they're gonna call it right at the 30. There we go. Right at the 30 yard line. One of the plays in this one will not be called back, unlike the last big play here early in the quarter. <laughs> 126 left. A run to the outside. Cuts. Still on his feet, but he stopped in the middle and transit. They're going to give him forward progress. Should be about five yards there. Close to the 25 yard line. Forward progress. Uh, they gave him about two yards there. Thought he got a little more, but it's going to be second and about eight and a half coming up here. Quarters winding to a close. 51 seconds in Canada. A fake snap up the middle. Matt and nowhere to go. So it's going to be third down. Again, this has been another windy day. Kicking a field goal. Won't be the best in this kind of weather. 21 seconds and counting. Go back to Kofi Crawl. Trick play. Is it going to run? Throw. Oh, caught. They say no. It's incomplete. They hit the turf. That was real close. And that's the end of the third quarter with Curly having a important fourth down decision to make when we come back. It's 42 7, the defending 3 8 chance. Looking on Lancers on a roll on their way to 1 0. 